Where does the money go when you buy a stock? When I buy a stock, who gets my money? If you're a beginner investor, the answer might not be what you think it is. So we'll get to all that and more, and it's the perfect topic for a five minute Friday. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You could be watching any video in the world right now, but you're watching mine. I appreciate that. If it's your first time here, my name is Jay, and on this channel, I give you the tools, the tips, and the tactics that you need to get the most out of your money. Now today, we're talking about what happens when I buy a stock. When I buy a stock, who's getting my money? And I'm gonna try to explain that in five minutes or less. So let's put five minutes on the clock and let's get into it. Now you may know when you buy a stock, you're buying an actual ownership stake in that company. So when you buy a stock, your money must go directly to that company, right? Not so fast. The only time the company itself receives money from the sale of stock is during their IPO or initial public offering, which is the first time that company will ever put their shares out into the market. The first time they ever put stock out there so the public can purchase it. Or if a company is already publicly traded, meaning you can buy and sell their shares already, the only time they're actually gonna get the money from someone buying their stock is if they issue more shares. Now we have a very recent example of this with everyone's favorite company to talk about, Tesla, who actually pulled off a brilliant move and at the peak of their share price issued new shares of stock, brand new shares of stock out onto the market to raise $5 billion for the company. Now because those were brand new shares direct, being issued directly by the company, when they sold those shares to the market at that insane valuation they've been at, Tesla directly got the cash for those purchases. So those are really the only times that the actual company itself is receiving any money when someone buys their shares of stock. And individual investors like you or me usually can't get in on an IPO or even a primary offering from the company into the market. Those are usually reserved for the big institutional investors, the, the vanguards and the big banks and the hedge funds, that kind of thing. So when someone like you or someone like me buys and sells shares of stock in a company, we're doing so on what's called the secondary market. Now, when a company issues its shares of stock, they get listed on a stock exchange. This is something like the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. It's basically a market where the shares are traded. Now, for most of us, when we buy and sell our shares of stock, we're doing so through an intermediary, our broker. That's your Fidelity or your Robinhood or your Schwab or whoever else. So they're the ones actually doing the dirty work of executing the transaction on the market. So simply put, the explain like I'm five version of when I buy stock, where does my money go is it's going to another investor. If I buy 10 shares of Apple stock, I'm technically purchasing that from someone on the other side of the transaction who is selling 10 shares of Apple stock. So that means my money to buy the stock is going directly to that person selling the stock. Now, of course, things can get a little more complicated than that, but that's simply what's happening. You're buying shares from someone, uh, someone out there in the world who's selling the shares. So your money is going through your broker to them. They're getting the cash. So if a company isn't actually getting the money from their shares of stock being traded on the market, why do they care so much about share price? And that gets back to the point I made directly at the beginning of this video, that when you buy stock, you're buying an ownership stake in the company. Now, every shareholder, no matter how large or how small, gets a vote into the decisions and the board members of that company. So if a company isn't performing well, and their stock is stagnating or it's going down, the shareholders aren't gonna be happy. We want a return on our investment for holding those shares. So when it comes time to vote on a new board of directors or executive compensation or other things that these companies will put up to a vote before their shareholders, they're probably not gonna get their way if the stock isn't performing. 
So the executives of the company know that if the stock isn't performing well and the company isn't performing well, their jobs may be in danger from the board of directors who want to keep the shareholders happy. And another reason why companies care so much about their stock price and the performance of their stock is a lot of the top executives and other important people within the company are compensated largely in stock, either by stock options or in the case of someone like a Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos, because they're the founder of the company and they hold enormous percentage of the shares of that company, their wealth is directly tied to the performance of the stock. So the better the company does, the higher the stock price goes, the better for them. That's why when you see headlines like Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos added 10, 20 billion dollars to their net worth this week, it's not because they're taking cash out of Amazon or Facebook. It's because they own, you know, 30, 40, 50, whatever percent of the shares of the stock of the company. So as the stock price increases, the value of the shares they own increase, and thus their net worth. So where does your money go when you buy shares of stock? It goes to another investor, not directly to the company. So when you buy your 10 shares of Tesla or Amazon, you're not actually giving your cash directly to Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. So there you have it. I hope I made it within my five minute timer. It'd probably be a miracle if I did. But if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps out the video and the channel, helps get my beautiful face in front of as many new eyeballs as possible. And that's what we all want here, right? If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. They're all awesome. I promise you, you don't want to miss a single one. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.